Hey guys, this is Marianne for HGTV.com, and on today's episode of Weekday Crafternoon, we're making a customizable, monogrammed piece of string art. String art used to be straight out of the 70s, but there's a new, modern, graphic version that's back in a big way. To get started, you'll need the following. You can buy these pre-cut basswood plaques at your local craft store. Our first step is going to be painting the surface of our basswood plaque. You can either use a more traditional pre-cut plaque like this, or you can also find these birch slabs that have the bark still attached. We're going to give these a nice thin coat of acrylic paint. Let's get started. Okay, while our plaque is drying, I'm going to cut out our template. I made this in a word processing program using preloaded clip art and the font of my choice. It was super easy. I'm just going to give it a trim so that it fits our plaque. Our plaque is dry and our template is cut out, so it's time to start hammering in some nails. You're just going to want to center your template on your plaque. You're going to want to keep your paper kind of taut, so I like to do alternating points of the starburst. Okay, next up it's time to remove our paper template. Now because we have so many nails in the plaque, you get a lot of little scraps of paper, so I recommend having a pair of household tweezers on hand just to get in between all those little nooks and crannies. All right, now we're finally ready to start threading our string. Any heavyweight thread will do for this project if you want to customize your color scheme. To get started, we're just going to tie our string to the point of one nail. Give it a good tight double knot because we don't want this slipping or going anywhere. We'll trim the excess and now we'll start threading. To do this you just want to keep your string nice and taut and the key is to not cross over in the negative space of the monogrammed letter. This is what's going to really show off whatever letter you're using. In our case the letter H. Just kind of Start wrapping it around, and you can always go back and add more if there's a section you know that needs a bit more attention. There's really no way to do it wrong as long as you keep your thread nice and taut. Once you feel like you've covered the surface of your art with enough string so that your letter is nicely defined, we're going to go ahead and finish this bad boy up. To do that, Pick an end point. I recommend one on the outside of your project. We're going to tie a nice tight knot around that nail. Pull it really tight because the last thing you want is for this to come unraveled. Now I'm going to use some adhesive strips to mount this on the wall, but you could certainly attach a picture hanging kit on the back if you wanted to hang it that way. Well, you're just a hammer, some nails, and a whole lot of string away from making your own customizable monogrammed piece of string art. That's it for today's episode of Weekday Crafternoon, but be sure to check out HGTV.com. We've got lots more craft projects for you. See you next time.